What we don't know right now is what is so special about these people? What is so special about their immune system that has allowed them to control the infection and live? The blood samples need to be rushed back to Entebbe, halfway across the country within 12 hours before they start to degrade. Back at the Uganda Virus Research Institute, the team begin the process of extracting the antibodies. They also need to understand exactly how other parts of the survivor's immune system have responded to the Ebola infection. Thank you. So we're back after a 14-hour day. We have our samples here. The team that we have in Entebbe is now going to process these. We want to learn from nature what the strongest antibodies or the protein molecules in their blood that we know can actually prevent infection and can be used therapeutically. Once the antibodies are identified, they are produced in the laboratory. They are then tested against live Ebola in cell cultures and will soon be tested in infected animals. At this point, we've isolated a whole library of human antibodies from survivors of Ebola virus disease. In the future, maybe in three to five years, these can be then tested in humans in terms of safety testing so that they can be used as passive vaccines or treatments. <laughs> 